We saw the idea of floral headbands in like the Roaring Twenties and there was a lot of glam and glitz that went with those. They evolved a little bit in the fifties. We, well, we first saw it probably in Alice in Wonderland where she wore a headband in the movie. Um, now it's become very popular. What we're seeing headbands and barrettes and combs all making a resurgence along with halos, etc. I wanted to just show you just a quick and easy way to do a headband for whether it's for a wedding or an event or some special occasion that someone needs. I have, uh, there's so many different types of headbands. Most of the time we see that they're pretty flat. I like to buy pre-made ones so it's just easier to work with. But there's also ones that have some dimension to them. They're really fluffy and they're great to glue to. You know, when we're gluing, having that porous surface of the fabric makes our job so much easier because we can glue right to this. Of course, if it's a keepsake, um, some headband that they want to keep forever, you maybe want to add some duct tape or something to this so it doesn't glue right to the fabric itself. The duct tape sticks to the fabric and then you can glue right to that. But we're just going to glue right to this. I'm just using a base as my structure just to hold it. And I just wanted to start gluing using Oasis Adhesive, which is the best thing to use. And I've got some beautiful grasses that we're going to start with. And I just want to put, you have to put glue to both surfaces. So we're going to glue this down and maybe even I'm going to let that stick out just a little bit. Let's try another side. We're going to work our way towards the middle, towards our focal point. So I'm adding our beautiful little grasses. Dried materials, again, are so popular. We're seeing that all through our floral design trends, whether it's for um, party work, whether it's for everyday design, we're also seeing it in weddings itself. So I'm gonna turn that off a little bit. Add it to another side. It just adds softness and fluffiness to all of this. I'm also gonna add, I still have some glue here, I'm gonna add a little bits of honey bracelet. And this is just to create our extension. As you can see, what we're doing is just adding this to the outside edge. My rule of thumb always in designing is if you put it on one side, put it on the other so that we get dimension with that and all of our balances. So I'm gonna add a little bit more honey bracelet to this. I also have some oats and I'm starting on the outside and I'm gonna work my way in. So again, some of the dry materials just to create textures. And it's a texture is, I love using different textures and textures is just that visual, visual appeal that you see. It's like you don't even have to touch it to know it has got great texture if you look at it. So that's what's really fun to me. All right, let's do a little bit of Silver Dollar Eucalyptus. Again, just a little bit on here, on both sides, tucking that in. And as soon as I get these attached. So glue on this, glue on the fabric, and it's gonna stick really well for us. So as you can see where we're going with this, we're just creating our framework. All right, so now we're gonna add some details. So I wanna use some beautiful roses, and roses are extremely heavy, so you've gotta be really careful with them and making sure that you make this really balanced. Now I've had some glue on here already. It's ready just to pop on. And again, glue to glue, make sure that that's on there nice and tight. So give it a second, let it hold up. I'm just gonna plaster this whole thing with a little bit more glue so that we have this all ready to go. And I want to push, put them side to side because I want this nice and full. Depending upon the person and how they want to wear it, oftentimes for like weddings, they want that just that visual appeal that we see. And oftentimes this is worn with a veil. So the veil's coming off the back and then your headband goes right on top of that. So I just want to hold this there. Because the roses are so heavy, it's really important that you make sure that they're going to stick. And they will. You just have to give them that ability to stay put. After four hours with Oasis Adhesive, this is on there and it's never going to come off. So it does work wonders. I always, too, like to put my fingers kind of down in between so I've got a hold of that very bud center of that rose and that gives me the ability to push. Instead of pushing on the outside, you can push it towards the center and that way it doesn't damage the white rose or any of the roses for a matter of fact. 
So just work your fingers down in there so you get a hold of that little bulb that's in there. And just hold them in. And I know that again, this takes a little bit of time. That's okay. Take the time to do that. Because overall, this isn't gonna take a long time to do. You need to get back up there, sweetie. There we go. Just hold them in place. Let them get nice and tacky before you put them on so that they will stay put for you. And I think we're gonna end up probably using about six roses with this. I want you guys to stay put here. And holding that in place. Make sure that when the bride or whatever the person is, whatever event they want the flowers for, that they try the headband on first. Make sure that it's comfortable. We definitely want it comfortable for them. We don't want it coming off, having any problems. So that they are very comfortable wearing that. All right, I think we're gonna be good to go. Let's continue adding to this. So I still wanna add some more grasses and bunny tails just to give us that continued look. We also have some more of the uh, eucalyptus that I wanna add in. Turn this around on this side and just continue to look around and add it in. And just keep building it with whatever products you have However fluffy you want to make this, you can make it as fluffy as you want. Honey bracelet, again, has great texture and softness and it holds up well. One of the important things you have to think about with making any type of head piece or body flowers of any type is just that durability of the product that you're using. I mean, this is not something that you want to put a hydrangea in because inevitably you're setting yourself up for a kind of failure because hydrangea does not like... Now you can use permanent botanical, but it doesn't like to be out of water. So you've got to add products that you, you know, that you know. And if you're not sure, test it before you do it. Take it out, glue it down to something and see how long it really does last. Because sometimes they don't last very long at all. So I'm going to continue just on this side. And just give us some fluffiness. Adding dimension and textures all the way through adding a little bit of color information that we see with the green and then those gray greens those eucalyptus -y colors of the foliages and the grasses so adding all of that in i don't know if you stand it up too tall again dimension Creating that focal area, where does your eye want to be drawn, which is usually right at the very base. A couple more things and then we're ready to go here. A little bit of eucalyptus here. Tucking you in. And then some grasses. And another idea too is that you should probably, you know, a lot of these brides maybe have never tried to wear a halo before or a headband or barrettes in their hair and just make sure that they are familiar with that so that they're able and comfortable. They have to be comfortable. I mean, it's about their wedding day. It's about their day, a special day for whomever it is and making sure that everything is great and comfortable and that they feel comfortable wearing it and that it's not going to fall apart on them. So as you can see, we've added this to our headband nice and easily. And then whatever you want to do, however they want to wear it, however they want to take it, I would spray this with an anti-transparent. Try not to do the dried grasses quite so much, but definitely do that and let it dry, follow the direction. The anti-transparents like Crown and Glory, Finishing Touch, Pristine, all these different things that you can use. That's a professional product that you need to put on to make it last longer. And that's the importance of this. We want it to hold up. So follow those directions, let it dry the way that it says on the container and then put it in a bag and put it in your cooler and then it's ready to go for those weddings.